talk about moisturized skin talk about soft smooth skin okay baby you get that get that <laughs> Hey babies, so welcome to my channel if you're new and welcome back if you've been here. Today's video we are going to be doing some spring must-haves which is going to be surrounded around body care, skin care, as well as fragrances. So yes, cannot wait to talk to you guys about some of the things that I think that you should grab for spring. I think today is actually the first day of spring so I wanted to get this video out to you guys so you can go ahead and grab it up and you know y'all looking really good. For the spring oh so yeah don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you are new here i would love to have you join the fam and then also everything will be linked in the description box below if you are interested and without further ado let's go ahead and get straight into the video girl so real quick i've literally been filming all day it's literally 15 minutes past seven so i've been recording all day so if my makeup just look really weird which i hope like i am praying i tried to touch up just a little bit mm -hmm but i'm praying that it looks okay on camera so i don't have to trash this video but anyway so these are just some items that i want to show you guys when it comes to what i use for the spring some things that i want to add into like my spring products you know what i'm saying but i'll just you know <laughs> get that later we're gonna start off with body care i only have two products here um and girl i've been using the freak okay the freak out of this product you know i love it you know I love it. And it is the Neutrogena Rain Bath Refreshing Shower and Bath Gel. Y'all, this right here, and don't mind my nails. <laughs> but anyway, like this right here, look at this. I gotta get some more. I love this so freaking much. Um, I've had this for a very long time, but that's because I do alternate like my body wash. Sometimes I use this and then sometimes I use like other body washes. But the fact that I've used so many different body washes since I've first purchased this, this is not even a second purchase. Like this is my first purchase. And the fact that I've used this so much tells you something, okay? So this right here, I told you guys, I think about this in my winter, winter shower routine. And a lot of girls was like, yes, it's man, baby. Matter of fact, go to Costco and get you a bigger bottle than this, okay? So this right here, I just cannot even explain to you Girl, this smells so good. I wouldn't lie to you, okay? Talk about fresh. It, it's just so refreshing. It smells so refreshing. It's very lightweight as well. Like, you can definitely smell it, but I'm just saying as far as like lightweight, it's not anything that's strong. It's something that you can definitely use on a daily basis. I do have extremely sensitive skin, and I can use this on a daily. This is so moisturizing. It doesn't strip the skin or anything like that, and it smells amazing. I promise you that. This is perfect for those spring mornings when you're getting your day started, whether you're going to brunch or if you're headed to work. Like, I love this. Like, this is one of my products that I definitely will be repurchasing. All right, so the next body wash is the Native Body Wash. Now, I'm pretty sure you may not be able to see this because it is very bright, so I'm not even gonna try, girl. Um, but if I hold it back here, you can see it just a little bit better. But anyway, so this is the Native Body Wash. I actually have so many of their body washes. If you follow me on Instagram and you look at my story, you will see that I have like a whole tier, like three tier or maybe two tiers of Native Body Washes. Some that I purchased from Target and then some that I've actually bought online um, because you know the scent is not available in uh, Target. So this is the Lilac and White Tea um, body wash. Again, perfect. It literally smells like a spring scent. It smells like flowers, like fresh flowers. So if you don't like that type of scent, then I wouldn't go for this. But I think that it's perfect for the spring. Again, perfect for brunch, probably for like a weekend. Or you can definitely transition this into like a night smell, um, if that makes sense. Like maybe something for dinner or like an evening. You know, you're going out, maybe a rooftop bar, something like that. It smells really good to me and I love it. However, I love a lot of the native scents. I have a few different like um, scents from the brand. I love this one. This literally smells like spring, okay? I'm actually looking to try some more body washes. I've heard that Necessaire has some really good body washes or just products in general. So I definitely want to try out Necessaire this spring. All right, so we're still staying in the body care section. But the next thing I wanna tell you about is the Fresh, the Original Brown Sugar Body Polish. You guys know this, again, is my holy grail. Like, I love this so freaking much okay i've talked about this like numerous of times on my channel and this right here baby 
especially for the summer it's good for any freaking season because it's very moisturizing especially like for the winter when your skin tends to be a little bit more you know on the drier side but for the spring and summer when you got the legs out arms out and the tummy out okay like this right here is definitely needed okay again it's a brown sugar scrub it is quite expensive i don't know if they have like smaller bottles in this i have a 14.1 ounce um but it's quite expensive but when i tell you it's definitely definitely worth it like it is so worth it i'll try to leave my shower routine up here or something like that so you can kind of see um the effects after using this this leaves your skin so moisturized and so glowing like it's just ridiculous and you can just see the water repel from your skin i mean it's coming from the oil in here but to me it's so moisturizing and it does the job where i don't even have to put on lotion after this and i mean of course you would want to you know what i mean just to stay as moisturized as possible but this does the job you want to keep this at like room temperature because even like right here it's kind of hot in here it's starting to like melt you definitely want to store this at room temperature but again i love 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 this and if you can get your hands on this i know at one point in time it was like sold out in sephora i think ulta now sells this so if you can get your hands on this grab it up girl try it out believe me you ain't gonna want to try no other brown sugar body polish okay so just to bring in another affordable scrub in case um the fresh body polish is just a little bit too much it's just a little bit out of your budget um i have this right here which is the tree hut this brand is like so popular i see this all the freaking time um but i have the vanilla bean shea sugar scrub from tree hut and i actually really like this it smells really good as well Mm, definitely a nice little scrub just to you know get away all that dead skin you know i have your body real fresh and nice for the spring so you can go ahead and put on your sundresses or your shorts whatever you got going on that's just really a scrub for me when i've used it i don't see a difference as far as like leaving my skin moisturized like once i use that i know that i do have to put on lotion afterwards but it does smell good and it's perfect like i say for exfoliating the skin i'm using that before you shave i've done that before so you can just loosen up those hairs so yeah i love that next product here girl you should know if you know you know baby you may not even be able to see but this is a neutrogena body oil light sesame formula this is fragrance free i use this a lot as well as you guys may know i like to use it right after the shower but um it's best if you use it like whenever you're still damp um so it can really absorb into your skin and keep you like just nice and moisturized all day long um but i've noticed even if i use it while i'm damp or dry it still absorbs into the skin and i don't have to worry about it like leaving oil marks or anything like that on any of my clothing um so i really like this it is a light formula so it's not anything that's heavy or gonna leave like stains on your clothes or anything like that but this one needed okay talk about moisturized skin talk about soft smooth skin okay baby you get that get there and the last thing that i want to show you guys from the body care section will be the fenty skin hydra reset intensive recovery hand mask i've talked about this before but i would say that i have a love hate relationship with this like i won't lie um it is very 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 moisturizing there's nothing about this that's a light formula and i really like that especially for my hands um sometimes i notice my hands are <laughs> the most ashiest hands i've ever seen i'm just like girl what, what what have you been doing um so using this it really gets in those cracks and crevices and it really moisturizes it he also is editing daquan here and while i'm editing i was actually reading the products and i realized for this specific product from fenty this is actually an overnight hand mask so it's not something that you just put on your hands girl when you ashy like you put this on when you're about to go to sleep and then you wake up with soft hands so this is probably the reason why i felt like it was you know i didn't like the consistency so now i know how to use it <laughs> this is only for nighttime so I really do like this. Um, kind of leaves like a residue. My hands sometimes like feel sticky. So that's the only thing I don't like about it. Like I don't like the consistency of it once I put it on. So, but I like it. So it's just a love-hate relationship with it. If you try the Fenty Skin um, Hydra Reset Mask, hand mask, let me know how you feel about it. Um, if you haven't tried it, try it. And then just kind of tell me what you think about it. <laughs> Next section that we're moving into is skincare. I only have a few products that I'm gonna show 
show you that I really think are just like my key products when it comes to um, those warmer months. But I am planning on doing like a full skincare routine um, for you guys where I'm going to highlight a lot of these products for like the spring. Um, my skin ain't the best, girl. But I, I know people want to see it because of the requests that I've gotten. So I, I'll do it. Um, so again, this is not in any particular order. I'm actually going to start off with like kind of, I'm going to start off with the Tula Skincare here, which is the So Polish Exfoliating Sugar Scrub. Um, but I really love this. Like I notice a difference. Like anytime I feel like I've been slacking on my skincare and I have like a lot of texture, I use this here and it's like, you can feel the sugar within it. Like when you're rubbing it on your face, but then immediately it will turn into this like kind of oil type of consistency. So I really, really do love this. I notice a difference with my texture whenever I use this. I try to use this like once a week and it's not too heavy or too much for my face. Um, again, I don't want to keep saying that I have sensitive skin, but it's true. So this works for me, especially if you have sensitive skin. Um, I would say it works for you. Definitely always with any type of skincare, do a little patch test first um, before you go all in, girl. So just want to say because I don't want you to get it if you got sensitive skin and you break out now you blaming me no girl do a patch test okay this one is a mask here this is from the origins um this is from the origins brand I love this mask this is the retexturizing mask with rose clay so if you notice texture 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 is like really a big thing for me when it comes to like spring and summer I don't know about you guys but especially for the summer like when it's super duper hot I don't really want to wear makeup okay so the skin got to be looking good okay if I need something that's going to help my texture and if I want to pop out one day without makeup you know the skin's still looking good like we got a little something on you know what I'm saying um so texturizing mask or you know exfoliating scrub I really like my go-to products when it comes to like the spring and summer so that's why I use this um I love this again if I feel like I've been slacking on my skincare I would use this um to help me you know smooth out my skin so I can you know start back doing right <laughs> the last thing in the skincare section are serums here so I have the vitamin and C beauty C kale and hyaluronic acid uh, skin serum here I always use this I don't even know if you can see but it's almost like empty um, there's a lot of benefits for hyaluronic acid when it comes to your skin and I'm gonna list that like somewhere here on the screen so you guys can like see so that's why I like to use that I honestly use it year-round um, I also use the Tula skincare brightening treatment drops this is vitamin C this is the triple vitamin C serum I love using this as well um, again there's a lot of benefits when it comes to um, using vitamin C and I am going to list that on the screen um because girl i don't really know it off the top of my head so i'm not even gonna flex like i do i'm gonna put it on the screen so you guys can see if you don't know and if you know you already know the last serum here which i wouldn't really call a serum um it's more of like an oil um is the kills midnight recovery concentrate i love this i've been using this for years i'm literally saying i love every product but i do um that's why i'm showing it in the video <laughs> is it oil consistency a little bit goes a long way it is very expensive i feel like i can't remember how much i paid for but it's probably like 50 or 60 dollars for this bottle and i don't even know this is like one fluid ounces okay and it's 60 dollars for this um but again a little bit goes a long way because it is oil based i will say that Use it when you're going to sleep, okay? Not just having it on and thinking you're about to cook dinner or watch TV because it does like drip. I don't want to say drip, but it, it does. Like it slides down your face. Even if you use only a little bit, it still slides down and I can always feel it like kind of in my eyes. I can't explain it. I don't know, girl, but just like I said, use only a little bit of this, but I absolutely love this. <laughs> all right so here's the last section which is fragrance and i'm just kind of like juggling between which fragrance i want to show you which one i don't want to show you only because like i plan to do a spring fragrance video anyway I'm, your girl is on a fence about showing you a lot of these fragrances but i think i'm going to show you three and then we're going to be good okay and you guys know i always put the notes of the fragrance like on the side of the screen the first one is just like a given i feel like everybody always uses this every spring and this is replica springtime in a park um the name just really speaks <laughs> for itself this is a female and male fragrance it's a blossoms and fruity notes here so if you don't like fruity i don't you know i wouldn't recommend this this smells really really good and if you want to smell like spring literally like i said it's in the name springtime in a park 
get this the next fragrance i was really really surprised okay it's the girl back when i went to sephora the girl was like yeah we just got this back in everybody been like really raving over this but we just been sold out for a while so we just got it back in she was like do you want to smell it and i was like yeah i'll smell it and then i smell it and i was like oh my god like you coming home with me okay <laughs> and this is the nest new york wild poppy again it does have like the floral notes here so if you don't like that you know floral type smell Mm, girl this smells so good i wouldn't get it but i don't think you will be disappointed um i will say this is a very strong it's not like strong where it's overbearing but it's definitely a strong scent and it's gonna last all day i've worn this a lot the packaging is also very beautiful i don't even know if you can see that or not but yeah definitely definitely try this even if you don't like purchase it go into the store you know do a little test and see if you like it right here is gonna be my number two go to for the spring and I'm gonna show you what my number one is. Girl, I don't know why I'm late to the party, but this, this right here, this right here, that scent for me, okay? It's Gucci Guilty. First of all, the bottle just really looks rich. It's giving me luxury, it's giving me rich auntie vibes, very much sophisticated, okay? Um, but the smell is very much fruity, so I will say that it's very fruity picture it um think about baby di not baby diapers think about baby powder okay that's what it smells like to me like it smells like baby powder i personally think baby powder smells good i don't know if that's weird or not but i think it smells good so i really do like this i literally got this probably a week or so ago and girl i've been using it. i've been trying to switch between other ones but i keep coming back to this I love this so much. Again, it's giving me very much spring and this is gonna be my number one scent for the springtime. It does last a long time. It's not as intense as a wild poppy, but it still lasts a long, long time, okay? So this is gonna be the last scent that I'm gonna show you, which is, and I've already talked about this multiple times, but it's the Philosophy Fresh Cream scent. This smells like vanilla. I love, love, love this. I love, like vanilla is my favorite, favorite scent. This is an everyday scent for me. Like if I'm not doing anything, if I'm working in the house, then I will, you know, throw this on here. Um, I love this. Again, it's very subtle. Those other scents that I showed you, that's like if I'm going out, lunch, brunch, dinner, or whatever, I'll wear that. But this right here is just like literally any and every day so if i do want to wear this out i would so yeah girl all right babe so that completes the spring trial huh? what <laughs> y'all can already see how programmed i am when i'm in this type of setting i don't know but anyway <laughs> that completes this like spring essentials i don't know really what i'm going to call like spring must-haves you know what i mean for your body, your skin, as well as, and a little bit of fragrances. I hope that you enjoyed it. Leave me comments down below letting me know what you're using for this spring. What's your holy grail when it comes to the spring and any products that you think that I should try? I'm always looking for new products, so yes. Anyway, thank you again so much for watching and I will see you in my next video.